Hi everyone, it's time to announce the winner of the free three question reading. I've got everyone's names logged into this wheel of names here um, of everyone who commented um, specifically about the type of readings that they wanted to see or what they enjoyed. So I'm going to give the wheel a spin and let's see who the winner is. Congratulations, you are the winner. Um, you have one week to email me. If you can email me before next Friday, Australian time, to claim your reading, the email address is in the description of the video below. Congratulations for, for winning. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing your free three question reading for you. Hi there, Taurus. Welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive tarot reading for June 22nd to the 28th. Four piles of potential here, Taurus. Let's see what comes through. I'm going to start by shuffling your oracle cards and selecting those to see what your overarching theme or message is. Actually, I've got a couple that are turned over there. Let's, let's start that again. All right, what is the overarching message or theme, please, for Taurus? There we go. Sahasara, the crown chakra Taurus. Some of you might be getting downloads, feeling more spiritual, feeling more connected, just feeling more in the flow this week. I love that card, such beautiful colors and imagery. Let's go for your next oracle card, Taurus, to see what else we've got here in terms of your overarching messages. If you don't want to stay off the shuffling, Taurus, please do use the timestamp below. Although once we get onto the tarot cards, you know, the message really does start to, to come through as we pull the cards. One more message please for Taurus. There it goes. Oh, yes. Just say yes. That is a very uh, clear message from the universe there Taurus and it could be divine confirmation for a decision you're trying to make or something you're trying to move ahead with. Let's see what the tarot cards say. So I'm going to start by pulling your first position here Taurus which is your recent past energies leaving completing or transitioning for you. We have got the king of pentacles. Here we have your energy here Taurus. You and your power. Okay let's see where this goes. Current or focus energies please for Taurus. Okay, we have got the Five of Swords, it's in reverse. You know, some of you might be coming out of a conflicted time. Um, that's really interesting. Um, in reverse, it can be that, you know, you have resolved that. Um, let's see what else comes out. Can we have the near future outcome for Taurus, please? Seven of Swords, hmm. Okay, well there definitely has been some kind of conflict situation going on, maybe with somebody who is trying to undermine you or doing a bit of a sneaky. I wasn't expecting that to come out until I saw the, the Five of Swords there, Taurus. We have got the moon, yeah, I mean the moon can be deception, I'm feeling like it could be in the work or business area. Let's clarify that Five of Swords. Strength. Yeah, okay. I feel like with that Five of Swords, there's somebody who's just not giving up the game. Someone who just won't let up. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Wow, okay. The clarifiers are the Sun and Starseed, which is the Fool. So there's a whole new beginning here. Um, the Sun is also a Yes card. So I feel like if you've been wondering if somebody has been kind of doing the dirty, doing a sly behind your back. The answer is yes, it is going to be resolved um, and you're going to move on to a new, a total new beginning. So that could actually be um, actually leaving whatever the situation is. Um, let's see how this plays out, Taurus. Let's read the cards. Okay, Taurus, let's start here with your oracle cards. You have Sahasara, which is the crown chakra. Some of you might be feeling a little bit more spiritually connected or getting downloads or messages or feeling more in tune with your intuition, definitely around the situation that's playing out. So I would be listening to any insights that you feel coming through. We have the Yes Oracle card, right? And this one here, um, if I look in the book for that one, it's a whole page of Yes, and it says, don't overthink it, just say yes. We also have 
you know the full card and the sun at the end of your reading so I feel like some of you are wanting to move on from a situation that has been bad or there's been conflict in and if you're looking for the confirmation of what you should do um, well this says that yes you know potentially it's the right thing for you to move on because I feel like in the situation that I see here you're fighting a battle that you just won't be able to win um, I think you might be dealing with someone who's actually either really unreasonable who's never going to see your side of things so let's start here in your recent past Taurus with the moon and the king of pentacles yeah okay I feel like there has been something going on behind the scenes I'm really feeling um, work actually in this particular reading here Taurus it's I don't think this is in a love um, situation however you could you know you could read it that way for yourself so the moon can talk about deception or things kind of going on in the shadows the undercurrents you know it's about the kind of you might be dealing with someone who who should sort of shows you one face but to you know on the inside they're doing something else now the king of pentacles is you in your power i feel like somebody might be kind of messing with your power here taurus this could also stand for the fact that the person that is doing this could be in a position of power. They could be being the king of pentacles. So they could be a boss or a mentor or somebody who's just trying to gain power over you. But ultimately I feel that, you know, maybe you, what I'm feeling more actually, sorry Taurus, is that maybe you've risen to power. Maybe you are, you know, getting promoted or being the, you know, the boss or the leader and somebody else might be unhappy about that and trying to steal a certain amount of your thunder. That's also what I'm seeing here. And I think intuitively you have kind of known that this is going on or you've seen it coming or you've seen it starting to escalate here. That's what I'm seeing. And I feel that it all starts kind of escalating and coming to a head this week, Taurus, because we have the Five of Swords in reverse and the Strength card. So I don't know if um, there was an argument that, uh, that either did or is going to erupt here with this person. The Five of Swords can be that argumentative energy. It can be, you know, literal conflict. It can also be internal conflict if you're really feeling that this person doesn't have your best interest at heart or um, and maybe going behind your back of dis deceiving you in some way. That's what this could be. You know, the Five of Swords is like, you know, you've either battled this or argued this to the end and the other person is just not um, being reasonable they're never going to see it from your side you're never going to win this battle and you know maybe you just have this have to have the strength and courage to be the one to, to walk away and I feel like that will be a physical walking away and actually getting out of the situation out of this job or away from this person um, just reading the energy of the cards here Taurus now the strength card Obviously, it asks you to have the strength and courage to deal with this head on. I don't think there's any more confronting this person that can really um, get you anywhere in the situation. I really think it is about, okay, I'm going to put my sword down. I'm just going to call it quits and be the bigger person here. As a strength card also talks about, you know, not getting letting our ego get in, con in control. And it could be the ego that says, no, I really need to... Get this person to see my point i really need to to be the one who 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 wins here because the five of swords can be a card of victory to us but it's a it's a victory that comes at a cost because the cost of this victory is going to be potentially a bit of your sanity um, a lot of your time and energy and it's just not worth it you need to move on to bigger and better things so the strength card asks you to tune into your higher self be the bigger person here <clears throat> actually bring your own inner demons or your own inner in a conflict or the part of you, your Kali, that really wants to engage in the battle, bringing that under control, taming that, and you know, be the one to to retreat your energy from whatever this conflict is. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of cards of sort of deception and, and conflict in this reading, Taurus. Okay, so coming in towards the end of the week or near future, we have got the Seven of Swords with the sun and star seed yeah so look i really feel that it's it's um highly possible that this person was really um trying to get one over you or some sense of manipulation deception might have even be taking something physically from you or it could be that after all this argumentative energy erupts that person actually goes another step further and really kind of um, you know really sort of throws you under the bus we would say here in Australia which means I don't know it makes up a story spreads a rumor something like that escalates however I really feel with the Sun card and the star seed card that's here Taurus that this person is going to get found out they're going to get their karma 
but you know potentially you know you won't know that anyway because you're not going to be there I feel like you're going to move on from the situation it is a specific reading guys it might not be for that many of you but I really feel that this person has had their day they are you know a deceptive you know sly sort of sneaky person they're not for you and I really feel like you are going to be the one that actually needs to physically remove yourself from the situation we have the the Sun card here it is the most positive card in the tarot deck and it's paired here with the full so it says that by taking a leap of faith removing yourself from the situation and starting fresh that you know you are going to move into a much happier and better time for you um, the Sun card is also a yes card in the tarot and we have the yes Oracle card so it's really saying that if you are wondering whether to leap just to get away from the situation just to leave that job remove yourself then you know all green lights are kind of to, you know saying go you know it's pointing that direction and that star set is the beautiful energy of a new beginning even though you know you don't really know where it's all heading or you're going because I feel like you know you didn't really anticipate to be leaving your job or leaving this friendship or whatever it is for you um, you know you just know that it's come up and you can't stay in it any longer so we have to trust the journey start walking a new path but know Taurus that you are wa walking towards that beautiful healing sun energy you know the sun is the energy that's going to eclipse the moon you know eclipse that energy of deception it's going to shine light onto the shadows and that's why I feel there's a sense of exposure about this person you know that hasn't really been um, operating fairly or in your best interest whatever it is they are going to be exposed under that sun energy you know it's what the light does you know it heals it cleanses it it, it shines light into the the darkest corners and this person has been lurking in those dark corners so it's time for them to to be to be seen and to be seen as who they truly are which is um, not you know not um, in, in a positive light but you know for you Taurus it's all about that new beginning there is a strong new beginning here if you decide to remove yourself from the situation so definitely um, trust in that you know the star seed is about taking a leap of faith and knowing that the universe will catch you knowing that there's a new path to walk and um, you know there might be new challenges on the way there always is but I feel like the situation may have almost come in it's a bit like a tower moment to kind of shift those train tracks to get you on a different path to get you on purpose because potentially um, you know the situation wasn't on purpose for you maybe there's something else uh, waiting for you that you know you're truly um, being led to Oh, okay Taurus it's a specific reason re reading sorry there is um you know obviously like deception energy here uh, you've got the strength card you've got the strength and courage to get through it there's a new beginning here waiting for you I feel like it's all unfolding for a reason so I do wish you all the best with that Taurus keep in mind I'm reading for a collective this may not be your reading I don't think it's going to be that many people's reading to be honest I think it's quite specific if it's not your reading this time that's fine maybe next week it will be so don't try and make it fit uh, leave me a comment um, I'm interested to see if this resonates for anyone um, I try and read all your comments and reply to them because it helps me get to know you guys and connect with the energy and I'll see you back here next week for another reading.